Good morning, guys. That's right. The city of Pasadena really trying to engage in sort of uh, making a positive change when it comes to the homeless crisis. So they're looking into certain spaces, what they can do to convert these spaces in order to accommodate the unhoused. Now take a look. These are some of the amendments that they are currently considering. The city is seeking to allow safe parking sites on all religious institutions, colleges and transit facilities throughout the city of Pasadena with a minor conditional use permit. These sites would allow for up to 10 overnight parking spots to accommodate the unhoused people sleeping in their cars. Second, the city is looking into redefining emergency shelters to provide more flexibility for local nonprofits and also to establish quote unquote low barrier navigation centers which provide temporary living facilities without some of the requirements already in place. For example, many shelters require sobriety and mental health treatment. This proposal also increases the amount of available beds in the city by a significant amount, possibly up to 24 the homeless count here in Pasadena has increased in the last year by 9%, bringing it to more than 550. These amendments are still being fine-tuned, but it's all part of Pasadena's drafted homelessness plan, which aims to increase the availability of shelter beds, access to needed supportive services, and potential sites for emergency shelters, low barrier navigation centers, and safe parking locations. The proposed amendments have been mixed, have received rather mixed reviews from community members. that it does work. We've been involved with parking, allowing people to park in our parking lot so that they don't have to park in an unsecure place and they don't have to park on our city streets. So I am thankful for Pasadena Church and the other churches who are saying we want to provide safe spaces for those that are homeless. And many people, as you just heard, very supportive of these ideas. So at this point, uh, these amendments, they've already planned, passed the planning uh, commission. So the next step is to go before the city council before anything can be finalized. I'm Lena Bourbon reporting live here in Pasadena this morning. KTLA 5 News.